Hello everyone, you are watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is Spell Check and Proofing. If you are worried about making mistakes when you type, then don't be because PowerPoint provides you several proofing features that will help you to produce professional error-free presentations. In this session, we will learn about the various proofing features and the spell check tool. Proceeding with the course goal, we will study about the requirement of spell check. If we talk about the requirement is, the requirement is that we want the slideshow to appear more professional. And that's why we have to make sure that it is free from the spelling errors. PowerPoint has several features for checking these spellings. Either you can run a spell check or you can allow PowerPoint to check the spelling automatically once you type that. So we'll learn to perform the spell check as well in this course and then we'll talk about the proofing, what proofing means and how we can modify the proofing options. We'll talk about the operations to perform. Running the spell check is the first operation that we are going to discuss. Let me show you that how we can run the spell check. Click on the review tab and you will get an option here spelling. Click on this or the shortcut for this is press the function key F7 to run the spell check. Click on this and then you will get a dialog box open which give you certain suggestion for the incorrect spelling. For example, in the presentation it has found one error, Niru, and it's going to show certain suggestions like either you can change it to Nero and ERO or there are certain alternatives given here. Either you can check for the spelling to correct and then click on change and then the spelling would be changed. If no appropriate suggestion are given then you can manually type the correct spelling and then click on change. Change to here you can type in the spelling like ABC or whatever you want to write here. You can type the correct spelling here and then you can click on change. That the spelling check is not always correct. It will sometimes say something is spelled incorrectly while it is not. This often happens with the people name and the place name which is not included in the dictionary. So if PowerPoint says something is an error you can choose not to change it using one of the three options. You have the three options ignore, ignore all or change all. I'll show you how you can use these options like it is giving you the options this is the error this is the spelling error it has found Niru and double -E -U, and it has given you certain options so one thing is that either you can click on ignore and it's going to find the error for the uh, for the proceeding slides or the second option is ignore all suppose we are using this word multiple times in the slide in the presentation so you can click on ignore all is going to leave that for the presentation and then third one is we have add option let me show you that as well spell check let me add one more a here and run the spell check once again okay now Again, it has found the error. It is showing you the error and the suggestions. Now, one thing is that either we can click on ignore or we can click on ignore all. Suppose like we have used the same word three or four times in the presentation, then it's not going to show you the error all the time. It's going to search for the word. So the next thing we have is the add option, this one. This is going to add that particular word to the dictionary. So if so, it's not going to uh, come up as the error again. 
if I'm using the same word in multiple presentation then I can add that in the dictionary as well you can click on add and then whenever we are going to run the spell check it's not going to show the error again so these are the three options that you can try all right so the operations we can perform is either we can change it or we can click on ignore we can click on ignore once this is the ignore once or ignore you can say you can change that for one time you can click on ignore all for the multiple uh, usage of the word it's going to ignore it ignore that word every time that comes in the presentation or you can click on add it's going to add that in the dictionary so it's not going to show you that as an error whenever you're going to run the spell check so these are the three options three four options available then next we talk about the uh, okay we have discussed about the ignoring errors ignore once ignore all and add then we have the automatic spell check option by default PowerPoint automatically checks your presentation for the spelling error so you may not even need to run the separate spell check using the spelling commands this error are indicated by a red wavy line for example like this in in this particular case for this word we have already clicked on ignore so it's not showing you the error here for the second word it's showing you a wavy line it means there is the spelling is incorrect as per the PowerPoint so you can right click on this right click and it's going to certain suggestions it's going to show you some suggestions here you can click on the correct spelling and the spelling would be replaced so this is how the automatic spell check feature works it only show you the red wavy line you need to right click on this select the uh, the spelling you want to change to and you do have the multiple options here like ignore all or add to the dictionary these options are available here so as per your requirement either you can add the word to the dictionary or you can ignore that as well so moving further uh, we'll discuss about the proofing feature what what does that mean what is the meaning of proofing reading document carefully and look for the errors and the punctuation mark this is the meaning of proofing the main reason for the proofing is to catch every single error and the reason for doing pro uh, proofing is that we want the presentation to look more professional there are two features provided by the PowerPoint one is the automatic spell check and the other is the contextual spelling contextual spelling means uh, this is an option that is turned off by default but that can be turned on can help you to find and correct spelling mistakes like the use of two that is two t double o versus two t w o or there versus there so these are the some some errors uh, comes while typing with the help of selecting the appropriate the con contextual spell check we can remove these errors also automatic spell check we have already seen like we have uh, we will be getting the red wavy line if the spelling is incorrect for example let's remove an L here so you will be started getting a, a wavy line so this is the automatic spell check this feature is turned on right now in the PowerPoint that's why it's showing a wavy line below the word if you want to correct it right click on this and you'll get certain options let's select the correct option here spell and the word the spelling would be changed so this is the automatically automatic spell check feature and if we talk about the contextual spelling I'll show you how we'll modify that option contextual spelling this is available in the backstage view so click on file and now click on options here click on proofing you will get certain options here yeah 
check spelling as in your type this is the automatic spell check if you remove the check mark from this box it means that whenever you are going to write any word any incorrect word powerpoint is not going to show you any red wavy line below that and if you place a check mark here check spellings as in your type so this is a feature that show you the uh, the wavy line below and once you right click on the word it show you the options it show you the suggestions also to change the spelling so this is the automatic spell check then if we talk about the contextual spelling then the second option use contextual spelling place a check mark here and it's going to suggest you or it's going to check for the contextual spelling as well and then the third box this is hide spelling errors you can place a tick mark here if you want to hide the red wavy lines that mark spelling errors this option is disabled if check spelling as you type is unchecked if you uncheck this this is not available this is grayed out if you place a check mark here check spellings as you type then it give you the option to place a tick mark or untick this hide spelling for the errors so th this is how we can change the option we can change the proofing options there is one important thing uh, once you modify any setting in the powerpoint options we have click clicked on options here under the backstage view and then we have selected proofing so whatever you are going to modify in the powerpoint options including proofing as well it affect all the powerpoint not just the current presentation these are the setting for the powerpoint actually so whatever changes you are going to made here that would be applicable for all of your slides all of your presentations so whatever you are going to change here regarding the spelling or for the proofing option is going to be applied for all the presentations that you are working with so that was it for today's session we have learned how we can perform the spell check how we can do the uh, the automatic spelling and the contextual spelling as well and we have learned about the proofing options also for modifying proofing so that was it for today's session i hope you have understood about the spell check and the proofing options that was it for today thank you everyone thanks for watching edupedia world videos